Hello, hello, friends. Today we have The Grass is Always Greener in the Fog by Lee Chan. And this is like a sequel to the 19 Shades of Grey that we did a couple days ago. Um, so this will be super exciting. I'm super ready for this. I see some green shapes, which we did not have before. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits separated by a black shape are in a 1 to 2 ratio. Digits separated by a white shape are consecutive. And digits separated by a gray shape are neither. Green shapes don't have such a restriction. Okay, okay, well remember that. Green shapes, green shapes could be anything. Um, shapes are made up of semicircles and semi-squares, resulting in either a full circle, a full square, or a circle square. These may be rotated in any direction. Digits separated by a circle sum to 9, digits separated by a circle square add up to 12, and digits separated by a square add up to 15. Um, we also have fog. The grid is partially covered with fog. Correctly placed digits will clear the fog around that cell. No guessing is required. So, since we can see this is half a circle, this is either going to sum, sum to 9 or 12. This will be either 9 or 12, and then these will either be 12 or 15. Um, I think one will be 12 and one will be 15. If they were both 12, then this would be the same number. If they are both 15, then this would be the same number. So I think one of these is 12 and one of these is 15. So maybe I want to look at the overlapping options between 12 and 15. Um, for 15, I would have to use a 6, 7, 8, 9. For 12, I can't use a 6. So it would just be 7, 8, 9 here. Um, I'm going to look at the options next to it. If this was a 7, then this would be 8 and 5. If it was an 8, it would be a 4 and 7. Um, if it was a 9, it would be a 3 and a 6. Mm, it's kind of a lot of options. Kind of a lot of options. Let's look at these. Could these both be 9 or both be 12? There's a ton of different options to get 9. 1, 8, 2, 7, 3, 6, 4, 5. To get 12, I have 7, 5, 8, 4, 9, 3. So if I were to have 12 3 times, 9, 3, Eight, four, seven, five. That would be all the options. Would that be possible? What would be left over? I would need to use a one, a two, and a six. The six would go with the nine to make 15, and then the one and two would go out here. That is possible. Does it have to go that way? Um, what if one of these is a nine? I want to think about how this whole thing's a 45. This is going to be 15 plus 12 minus this digit. So 27 minus whatever I put here. So 20 or 19 or 18. The lowest this could be is 18. If this was 9 and 9, this would both be 18 as well. So this would be 36. And then this would sum to 9. So this, this, and this would all sum to 9. That's three options gone. Ooh, is that a good way to think about it? It does seem possible. Um... Well, are there certain digits that have to go in certain places? What if one of these is a 9 and one of these is a 12? If they're both 12, we said that was fine. Um, 12 and 12 would be 24. What's the biggest this could be? If this was a 7, then this would be 20. 20 plus 24 would be 44, which so that would not be possible. So if these are 12, then this could not be a 7. Um, actually, it might have to be a 9. If this was an 8, then this whole thing would be 19. 19 plus 24. Well, those are weird numbers to add. 33, 43, so this would have to be 2. So if these are both 12, this would have to be a 9. Is that possible? This would be 9, 6. 9, 3. 
Yeah, and then I just do 8, 4, 7, 5, and then this is 1, 2. We did say that was possible already. Um, oh, this is a tough break-in. Am I missing something? Green shapes don't have a restriction on 1 to 2 ratio consecutive or neither. It just doesn't matter with green. Um, something will break for sure. Definitely. Gosh. Um, I am missing something. What am I overlooking? Digits separated by a circle add up to 9. Digits separated by a circle square add up to 12. They're just separated by square out to 15. Full circle, first full square, or circle square. Green shapes don't have such a restriction. These are all green shapes. So it doesn't matter what they are. All I know is that this is a 7, 8, or 9. My options for one and two. Do they have to go here? There was a situation where they did go here. But what if this is one eight and this is two seven? This could be nine six and nine three. And this would be four five. And that all seems fine. Um, so I don't have to use one, two out here. I feel like I have multiple options, so I might be doing something wrong. These are circles. That is, that is a circle. This is either a nine or a 12. This is a square. They can't both be 12. They can't both be 15. So it is one of each. If these were both 15 and this was a 7, these would both be 8. So these are one of each. The whole thing is 27 minus this. So these three cells are 20. Nineteen or 18. This is either a 9 or a 12. This is either a 9 or a 12. What if it's one of each? 9 plus 12 is 21. Let's say this is 20. That'd be 41, so this would be 4. A 1 and a 3. Hmm. Something I'm not seeing. Okay, let's actually go through all the options because I think I'm, I might be missing something. Um, one of these is a 12 and one of these is a 15. So if this is a 7, then that would mean one of these is an 8, one of these is a 5. We're saying this is a 7. So let's do it this way. If this is a 7 and these are a 5, 8, um, if this is a 9, then I would still have 3, 6 as an option. So I can make this 3, 6. Then this would not be able to be 9. So I've already used 3, 6, 5, 8, and 7. So this would have to be a 12. Um, and I could not do 3, 9. I could not do 4, 8. could not do 5, 7. So there wouldn't be a way to do that. So if this is a 7, this could not be a 9. What if it was a 12? Um, I could do 3 and 9. But then I actually don't have anything to put here then. 7, 5, and 8 take out too many options from my other sums, it looks like. 8, 4, 7, 5, yes. Okay, so this can't be a 7. What if it was an 8? Um, this would be 7 and 4. 
to get a nine, I could do three six. I think I'd run into the same problem. Um, then there wouldn't be anything to get nine or twelve here. So if I wanted to do twelve here. It gives me a 5 back, but there's still a 7 here. So yeah, I'm going to run into the same issue. So this will have to be a 9 then. Okay, cool. Um, this is the full square, so this is 15, making this a 6. And then this is this the... I always want to call it a semicircle. It's just a square circle with a 9. So this would have to be 12, so this is a 3. This is also a square circle, so this sums to 12. And this is just going to sum to 9 with no restrictions. I can't use a 3, 6, but this could be a 2, 7, or a 1, 8. But this being 12, if I can't do 9, 3, it's going to be an 8, 4, or a 7, 5. Um, let's see. I have options for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm definitely using a 7 and an 8 here, so this is going to be a 1, 2, 4, 5, really. Okay. I can figure out this whole thing, actually. This whole thing is 45 minus 12 is going to be uh, 33 minus 9 would be 24 minus another 9. Um, 24 minus 9 would be 15 minus 3 is 12 minus 6 is 6. So these two are going to sum to 6. It's either going to be 2, 4, or 1, 5. I already knew that. Um, okay. This is another green circle, so it needs to sum to 9. Um, it has to be different than this, but other than that, I don't really know. This is another green half circle. This could be 4, 5. It could be 1, 8. It could be 2, 7. It could even be 6, 3. That's a lot of options. Um, with this, though, this will definitely be a circle square. It can't be a circle if they share a cell. So this would be 12. So options to get 12 here. I can't use a 6. I can't do a 9, 3. It depends on what goes here, really. Overlapping between 9 and 12, maybe. 12 would be, if I can't use a 9, I could do 8, 4. I could do 7, 5. And then if this was a 9, this would be a 4, 5, 2, 1. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. That happened a lot. Let's look here. This is a black shape, so it is a 1 to 2 ratio, and it's at least a half a square, meaning this is either 12 or 15. Um, 1 to 2 ratio for 12 would be 4 and 8. For 15, I don't have an option like that. The only way to get 15 is 9 and 6 and 7 and 8. So this is going to have to be a circle square, making it 12. So this is definitely 4, 8, meaning these can't be 4 or 8. This is going to be 5, 7. So this won't have a 7 in it. This um, won't have a 5 in it. If this is definitely an 8, uh, this sums to 9. So this is taking out a 2, meaning this is 18, or 1 and 8. Uh, this is not going to have a 1. This is going to be a 2 and a 4. But this can't be a 4, so it's a 2. So this is a 4. Um, 1 and 8 means this can't be a 1. So this wouldn't be an 8. So to get 12, this would not be a 4. Um, what else can I do? 4, 8, 5, 7. I say which one's which. I don't think so. Um, there's hopefully a better way. Uh, this is 5, 7, so this can't be 5, 7. So my options are more limited now. If I can't use 5, 7 at all, this is 12, right? Yeah, because this one's 9, so this one has to be 12. So this is going to be 4 and 8. Um, meaning to get 9, this would be a 5. Um, this is at least half a circle, meaning it's either 9 or 12. To get 9, I can't use 4, 6, or 8. It would be a 2, 7. Um, to get 12, can't do 4, 8. Can't use a 6 or a 9 anyways. I could do 5, 7. Can't do 3, 9. Can't do 4, 8. Could do 5, 7, but this could not be a 5. 
So this is either a 2 or a 7, and this is a 2, 5, 7. Meaning I can't use 2, 5, or 7 anywhere else in the row. I need to use a 1 and a 3. Okay. A 1 is going to go here, a 3 is going to go up here. This is either a 12 or a 15. If it's 12, I couldn't do 4, 8, or 3, 9, but I could do, can I do 5, 7 again? Depends on what this is. I don't know if this is a full circle or a circle square. Um, I don't know if this is a 12 or a 15. If it's 12, it would have to be 5, 7, or I guess 7, 5, really. I think that's my only option. Can't do 4, 8, can't do 3, 9, can't do 6, 6. If this was a 15, this would again be a 7 and this would be an 8. Oh, I could do 9, 6. Darn. Too many options. Oh, I think I said 5, 7 was an option. It's actually not. I can't do 5, 7 because of this. So there's no way this could be a 12. All the options are gone. Can't do 4, 8. Can't do 3, 9. And I can't do a 5, 7. So this has to be a 15. Um, I could do 7, 8. If I put the 7 here and the 8 here. Or this could be a 6, 9. Was there a number that I had to use here? I have to use a 2. The option was either 2, 7. Ooh, was that right? Did I do this right? Where are my options for this again? This is either a 9 or a 12. If it's a 9, I have to do 2, 7. Can't do 8, 1. Can't do 4, 5. Can't do 3, 6. So it has to be 2, 7. Um, if it's a 12... Can't do 8, 4, can't do 6, 6, can't do 9, 3, 5, 7. If a 5 was here and this was a 7. But I have to use a 7 no matter what, meaning this is a 5 and this is a 7. Meaning I can't use a 5 here, so this has to be 2, 7. And then this becomes 1, 3. Um, this is a 7, so this can't be a 7. So I, just, I don't remember what I paired the 7 with. Let's look at these again. Gosh, um, this is either a 12 or a 15. If it's a 12, I can't do 9, 3. I can't do 4, 8. I can't do 5, 7. So I can't make this a 12. If I wanted to make this 15, I can't do 8, 7 because of this. So this would have to be 6 and 9. Okay. Hmm. I have to use a 1 here or here. Three can't go here, three can't go here. One of these has to be a three. Can I say which one's which on these? Let's look at more numbers. I have to use a one here. A two would either go here or here. Three has to go up here. We already have a four, we already have a five. A six has to go somewhere here. Seven, eight, and then a nine. Um, this being four eight. Is there something with Sudoku I can do? I'm missing something. This is definitely a nine. There's no way I can do a twelve. Um, and this is definitely a 15. There's no way I can do 12. Hmm. 
A four has to go here. Can't really do much with this. Hmm. Put the numbers back that I had here. Oh, this is a six nine, so this can't be six nine. This is a one two, six nine. Um meaning this can't be a two, it's a seven. Okay. That makes sense. Um one, two, six, nine. This needs to be a one, two, three, four, a five, six, seven, eight. Just to see my options there. Uh this is going to be either a nine or a twelve. If it's a nine, this would be six three, and this couldn't be a nine. If it's a twelve, I couldn't use a six, and this would be a nine three. So this has to be a three no matter what. Um now I know that it's a 12, and this has to be a 9, and this has to be a 6. Meaning these won't be 6. They also won't be 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it looks like. 4, 6, 7 here. Um, let's see. This is consecutive, and it's either a 9 or a 12. So it's either a 4, 5. Um, there's no consecutive way to get a 12, so it is just a 4-5, actually. I mean, that's my 4s for here, so I need to have a 4 down here. These are gray, meaning they're not a 1 to 2 ratio or consecutive. And they're either 9s or 12s. If this is a 9, and I can't use 3 or 2, and I also can't use 4-5, um, this would have to be 1-8. If this is 12, I can't do 3, 9. I can't do 4, 8. That would be a 1 to 2 ratio. Um, 5, 7 would be an option. And I believe I'm going to have the same thing here. It doesn't see this necessarily. If this is a 9, I could do 1, 8. I could do 2, 7. I can't do 3, 6. I can't do 4, 5. Um, if it was a 12, can't do 3, 9. Could do 4, 8. Could do 5, 7. There's a lot of options. Um, I need a 4 down here and it can't go here, so one of these is a 4. This has to be four or five. What else does that tell me? Does the fact that this is a nine tell me something? The four has to go here. Um, what am I missing in here? Hmm. Okay, let's check this again. If this is a 9, I could do 1, 8. I could do 2, 7. I can't do 3, 6, and I can't do 4, 5. If it's a 12, I can't do 3, 9. I can't do 4, 8. That's a 2 to 1 ratio. I could do 5, 7. So those are my options. Um, these can't be the same numbers. That also means if I can't use a four here, um, four, five wouldn't work for nine because that's consecutive and four, eight wouldn't work for this because that would be, um, a two to one ratio for 12. So this has to be a four. Okay. Uh, this is a white square, so it's consecutive numbers to get a 15. This is going to be 7, 8, um, meaning that limits my options for this, I think. No. Oh, actually, I just know what it is. It's a circle now. So it has to sum to 9, and it can't be a 1 to 2 ratio, and it can't be consecutive. So 1, 8, or 2, 7. 4, 5, and 3, 6 won't work. 
one eight or two seven work and that'll determine what this is so this is like a seven eight pair for the column if this is an eight then this will be a seven if this is a seven this will be an eight so this won't be an eight it's a five this is an eight um this can't be a seven um if this is an eight then this is a seven and this is an eight so these just won't be eight one it, it will be two seven meaning I don't want to use seven here and I also know it's a gray circle so this is going to be one eight um that doesn't change anything here this is a green 12 no restrictions I can't use seven and eight so this is going to be three nine or that's it this is just going to be three nine this is a green square which is 15 which would mean I have to do nine and six whoops oh the <laughs> when you accidentally take off the six the fog comes back nine and three meaning this is a one and this is a three this is a four this can't be a four it's a six seven it also can't be a seven so it's a six this is a four this is a seven cool making progress i think i need to do sudoku for a bit these we still need a one two three four five six seven eight nine this is a one and this is a six um this one two three four five six seven eight nine um so a five needs to go here somewhere cool one two three four five six seven eight nine for the column meaning this is just a two it looks like three four five six seven eight nine Nothing here. These didn't get cleaned up yet. What else can I do? What else can I do? What what can I do next? Are there any shapes cleared like a, that I could figure out? If this is an eight, this is a four. So this is a five and this is a four and this is an eight this is a five and this is a nine and this is a five this would be a one seems fine can i place more digits a one in here can't go here other than that it could go anywhere a two in here can't go here could go anywhere a three could go anywhere a four will go here a five also will go here a six a seven an eight and a nine and that's a ton of options what about all the way down here a nine can't go here so a nine is going to go one of these places let's see okay a one just can't go here so a one could go anywhere here same uh no we, have, we do have a two up here two will have to go here three can't go here or here four can't go here can't go here four could go anywhere there a five just can't go there six seven eight
the only thing that can go here is a one and then nine. The only thing that can go here is a one. It sees a two, it sees a three, it sees a four, it sees a five, it sees a six, it sees a seven, it sees an eight, it sees a nine. I'm not sure if that's what I'm supposed to do next. That felt a little like I was just, um, like I didn't know what to do next, so I just started looking at individual options. I don't know what I'm missing here. Is there a next step I can... Can I see something with these? Okay, let's put a one here. We have a green circle, which is definitely a nine. I can't use a one. I could do two seven if I do two this way and seven this way. Um, a three six, can't do that. A four five. Um, could go either one. Those are the only options for that. This is a either a nine or a twelve, and it needs to be a one to two ratio. So for a nine, I would do six three, but I can't use a six or a three. So for a twelve, two and ratio would be four eight. So this has to be a four. This has to uh be an eight. I got worried for a second, but yeah, that's fine. Um, this becomes a five then. If this is a four, this is a five, and this is a four. If this is a five, that's um, not a five, so this is a five. Um, this is an eight, so this is a one, so this is an eight. Um, let's see. Five. One, eight, two, seven, five, nine. That's fine. One, two, three, nine. I don't know about yet. Um, this is a green, either a nine or a twelve. It can't be a nine because if whether this is a four or a five, um, this would end up being a four or five again. We know that this does have to be a nine. Um, so this is going to be a 12. If this is a four, this will be an eight, which would break this. So this needs to be a five and this needs to be a seven, making this a four. So this is an eight and this is a four. So this is a nine and this is a five. Um, this is a seven, so this is a two and this is a seven. Um, a green square is 15. Uh, my whole options for this whole column are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is going to be a 3. This is going to be a 6 and a 9. Um, ooh, I can't say which ones yet. I don't think. Nope. Get anything here yet? No. This... Just because of Sudoku, is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This can't be a 6 or 7, so this is a 9. I mean, these are not 9. This is a 3, and this is a 9. Um, any other shapes I haven't looked at? I don't think so. I think all the shapes have pencil marks on them now. Yes. Yep, I believe so. Okay, let's do this. Uh, this row still needs a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, this can't be a 9. But a 1, 2, 7 seems fine. This can't be a 1. 2, 7, 9 seems fine. These can't be 7, so a 7 does have to go here. Um, this can't be a 9, so this is just a 1, 2. All right. One of these has to be a nine. Oh, this is a seven, so this is a six, so this is a seven. I don't think that told me anything else, though. I don't think so. Okay, um, more Sudoku. Let's maybe look at this. Hopefully one of these options is like a six, seven, or nine. Um, we still need a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, an eight, and a nine. Um, seven is already here, so this is a seven. Two, four, eight. 
8 and 4, so this is a 2. So this is a 1, and this is a 2, so this can't be a 2. And this can't be a 2, and this can't be a 2. 4 means this is an 8, and this is a 4. Um, okay. I do need a 2 in here. Oh, I have options. This is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, 1, 5, this is a 3. This also can't be a 5, so it's a 1. So this is a, a 5. So this becomes a 9. This is not a 9. Um, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nothing this way yet. This region still needs a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 can't go here. 9 can't go here. Uh, this column still needs a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep, this can't be a 2. But other than that, fine. This is 1, 8. So this becomes a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, this is a 6, so this is a 3, so this is a 6. Meaning this is a 2, this is a 9, and this is a 6, and this is a 9. Um, this can't be a 7 anymore, so it's a 2. So this is a 7, this is a 1, this is an 8. This is a 1, this is an 8, this is a 2, this is a 4, 5, 6, this is a 1. Very nice! 4809 on that one. Uh, the beginning was really tough for me to see uh, what I could, uh, I was having a hard time finding that break in, but once I did, smooth sailing after that. Um, I'm not sure if I missed something when most of this was fog down here. I it was kind of just like, bottom of the barrel looking for options there when I found out this one. I think I missed something. I think there was something I didn't see. So if you saw it and I didn't, definitely let me know in the comments with a kind comment. And uh, nice, let me know how you did.